new horizon and a day and all came true Keller Williams you make dreams come true You're listening to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. And here's Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. My man, Jeff Hallman and Agent 509. I love to see people that want to expand. I love guys with big goals, you know, and that's Jeff. He doesn't care. He just locks and loads. One more time for his company. You can get a hold of Jeff at 509-315-3630 or go to agent509.kw.com and talk to him about what it's like to be a team owner or maybe you want to join his team because he's expanding. Right now I got my, my man Michael Maher with Prime Lending as usual. Welcome to 2021, Michael. Thanks for calling in in the land of post-COVID, hopefully one of these days. Yeah, nice to be here, Russ. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Merry New Year to you. <laughs> Just dropped my phone and got in trouble again from JP. One of these years I'm going to get this radio stuff figured out. So, Michael, <laughs> 20, 2020, we had some changes. Um, loan limits, is that right? Loan, loan, loan limits on a, a few programs changed? Yeah, so we had the loan limits for FHA and conventional loans go up. Um, which just in short means that basically if you were looking in 2020 to buy a home in Chelan or Douglas County, loan limits were typically capped around 510000 Um And then they've since made their way up to about just under 550000 about 548000 which just means if you go and buy a home, the max loan amount before you jump into programs called jumbo which is anything over that loan amount would be 548 and what this does is open up a little bit more wiggle room for people out there searching in a little higher price ranges that want to stick with a what are called conforming loan um, which abide by the standard guidelines which allow for a little more flexibility when you get into that jumbo territory sometimes you can get into some very restrictive guidelines they're non-conforming loans they kind of abide by their own guidelines and they're very big on credit scores money in the bank so reserves um, so it's nice to know that they have up to those loan limits to allow people a little more flexibility um, jumbo is still a great program and we're very good at them if that needs to happen but it just allows someone to stay under those loan limits a little bit more so it's nice to know that um, you know they have the option yeah, and I mean, and as uh, homes appreciate, it's nice that if you have to borrow the money, and maybe down payment is an issue, it's nice to know that FHA is at least trying to stay with the times because our average home prices continue to go up, not go, go down. And for those people, especially in that government type programs with lower down payments, you know, if they had to go to jumbo, it would be almost impossible for some people. So that's good. I mean, and yeah. rates, uh, interest rates, Mike, seem just hanging around, right? I mean, do you see any, I know that predicting the future is very, very difficult, <laughs> but uh, do, you, do you think it's going to stay the same or what do you think rates are going to do? Yeah, no, I mean, like you said, let me grab my crystal ball, but all signs point to them remaining steady through 2021, we're hoping. Um, obviously nobody knows exactly what's going to happen, but what that tells you right now is that, you know, we're in the new year. It's the start. You may have had some goals, some aspirations, things that you're wanting to get done, whether that's pay off high interest debt, whether that's refinance your home to lower your payment, maybe pull cash out to get equity, to do some upgrades to the home. There's a lot of different things to consider right now, and with where rates are currently at and hopefully where they stay at in the future, it gives you this kind of unique opportunity to be able to take advantage of that. Um, one case is renovation loans are big right now. Um, I know inventory is low, so a lot of people may be opting into, you know, sticking into their current home 
for a little while longer or, you know, for a few years and they want some upgrades, but they don't have the cash to finance those. So what you can actually do is, I mean, if you wanted to, you could take it down to one wall on your home and do a complete remodel gut and basically an entire new home if you wanted to um, and finance that into the new loan, which allows you to kind of go the sky's the limit floors, countertops, um, you know, bathrooms, granite. I mean, anything and everything you could think of, even there's a, a loan for pools. So if you're having trouble finding something out there or you're just wanting to maybe update, make a couple little updates, there are a bunch of programs that Prime Lending offers um, up to 20 different renovation projects or sorry, uh, loans or enhancement loans, as you like to call them, Russ. <laughs> that can give people that opportunity to, you know, update their where they're living. Yeah, you know one of the things that, that I like about you, Mike, and I'm going to give you another uh, Michael at Prime Lending. Your email is m m so like the candy m m a h e r at primelending dot com, where you can get a hold of Michael with Prime Lending at four two five seven six zero eight eight two four. And what I what I wanted to say is that what I love about what you do, Michael and Sharon Crockett is that you guys will take somebody that has an idea and you're not afraid to have a conversation with them and, and a dialogue. And, and I think that there's a lot of apprehension around the process. So what I would encourage you to do, to Michael's point about the renovation loan, the cash re, uh, refinance where you can pull cash out, if you want to add a pool, all those things that you can do, just make the phone call and find out. So what would you say, Michael, to somebody that's thinking like, I'm paying rent, I don't know if I qualify, I had this situation or I had a car payment and I got it paid off and I didn't qualify with my bank last year when I had the car payment. So maybe now that I don't have the car payment, I can qualify, but I don't know if I don't, you know, and there's all this fear around the unknown. What would you say to those people that are feeling that way? Yeah, I would say their, I would say their fear is, is validated because there's so much information out there and people really don't know how to decipher it all and may not get the best advice from, you know, certain people from cer certain areas or different companies and such. But what we like to do is we really pride ourselves on thinking outside the box and whether someone has a bankruptcy foreclosure, something's changed on their um, approval since the last time we had spoke to them and it may, it may or may not make a difference, but at least reach out and have that conversation with us because we're very creative on coming up with solutions. And I don't think I've ever turned someone down for a loan, but I've typically given people plans to get them on a path to where they'll need to be to be a homeowner. So everyone has the opportunity. No one's, you know, no one's special. No one is, you know, completely outside of it whether you have a timing requirement for a bankruptcy that you're just waiting on or you need some help with down payment, so on and so forth, there's an option for everybody. And whether that takes you, you know, you're ready now or it takes you a couple of years, we've had a lot of success stories of people who have followed our advice and are now homeowners. It may take a little bit of time, but having that initial conversation, which is free, doesn't cost you anything, we can get you on a path that'll get you to where you want to be. Yeah, I think so often in today's world when they call, like, you know, you, you'll see online companies that say just, you know, I'll use a car shopping as an example. If you put your information into a, a website, the next thing you know, 475 car salesmen are calling you. And you're, yep. I, th I think there's a fear around that too. Can you speak to the two things? One, what if I'm embarrassed? And it, and in other words, is this confidential between me and you? If I ask yeah, you, if definitely. I ask you for help, yeah, it's everything's one hundred percent confidential, and we do not share. You know, we've done multiple people that are in the same family's loans, and neither of them, aside from what they tell the other person um, directly, knows what's going on. So it's. 100% confidential. We don't go sharing information around. We're required by law to keep all of that private. And then kind of touching, you know, touching on the embarrassment part, everyone's got a story. Everyone's been through something, whether that's personal, financial, whatever it might be. 
it's about having almost a coach that comes along and can help guide you just, you know, to get you into the next level and to keep pushing forward and, and not stay where you're at. But it's about having that advice so that you can, you know, latch on to that and know exactly what plans have worked for other people in the past that could work for you. And really dig you, if you are in a hole, help you dig yourself out and then, you know, have a bright future. So as far as the embarrassment goes, there's nothing anybody needs to be embarrassed about. I've seen things, people in situations you wouldn't believe, and we've been able to help them, um, you know, move forward and, and really put themselves into a better situation. So we've had a lot of success with that. Yeah, especially coming after 2020. I mean, if you thought your armor was, yeah. you know, not a, <laughs> perfect, it's probably a little imperfect after the the t- year we had in 2020 and the COVID virus one way or another there's a lot of people that thought they were immune to problems in their uh, career for example and they find themselves uh, furloughed without their permission and maybe refinancing and tapping some of that equity with a low interest rate fixed mortgage might just give them the cover fire that they need to get back on their feet Um, so I'm going to give the number again for Michael because I think it's really important that uh, when you're seeing appreciation like we're seeing you're seeing interest rates the way they are, you can call your accountant, but there's some advantages of getting a mortgage. If you're going to pay interest, pay lower rate and do pay interest that's deductible, um, which mortgage ter- currently is. Again, I'm not an accountant, so call an accountant. Hey, so Michael's number one more time is 425-760-8824. You can email Michael at M Maher. That's M A H E R. So M M A H E R at primelending.com. And, uh, Hey, you know, as we come to the end of the show, Michael, I appreciate it. Happy new year, my friend. I yeah. appreciate all that you do for all Happy of our new clients year. and our 71 plus agents. We're shooting for 100 agents in 2021. And, uh, I appreciate all the work and we're going to keep growing together. So throw that phone in the drawer once in a while, go outside, take a big, deep breath of fresh air and enjoy your life. Live in gratitude. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.